If you've ever worked with a business dashboard or a scorecarding application, you might have seen icons such as traffic lights in red, yellow, and green used to indicate levels of performance. In this movie, I will show you how to add those indicators to your Excel 2013 pivot tables using icon sets. I will use the icon sets sample workbook, which you can find in the chapter five folder of your exercise files archive. I have this pivot table set up so that it shows summary sales data for five departments, balance, dance, play, sport, and work. What I'd like to do is add an icon to cells B4 through B8 to indicate the level of performance based on some criteria that I'll define in a moment. To do that, I select the cells, and then on the Home tab of the ribbon, in the Styles group, I'll click Conditional Formatting, point to Icon Sets, and then select the shapes that I want to use. You have different types of sets that you can use, some of them have three items, some of them have four, and some of them have five. In this case, I'll go with what I consider to be one of the more useful icon sets, which is the three icon bordered traffic lights. So I'll go ahead and click that icon set inside of the palette, and doing so adds it to the pivot table. And you can see based on the default icon set that Excel created, I only have two different colors. I have green, for three of the cells and red for the other two. If I want, I can redefine the criteria that decides which of the three red, yellow, and green icons to display. To do that, I'll select the cells, then on the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting, and click Manage Rules. Doing so displays the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager, and I can click the rule that I want to edit. In this case, it's the only one in the dialog box, and click Edit Rule. In the Edit Formatting Rules dialog box, you can see the details of the rule that you've created. In this case, you have two separate rules. The first one tells Excel when it should display a green traffic light. The rule type is percent. You can see that here in the type box. And any value that is greater than or equal to 67% of the highest value gets a green icon. Anything less than 67% but greater than or equal to 33% of the largest value gets yellow, and anything below 33% gets red. Let's say that I want to use an absolute number instead of a percentage. To do that, I can change the type from percent to number. So I'll click the down arrow next to the first type box and click number. When I do, the number in the value box resets to zero. And in this case, I want to assign green to any sales value that is greater than 275,000. So I'll select the value in the green icons rule and type 275 followed by three zeros. Now I can do the same thing for yellow. So I'll click the second criterion's type boxes down arrow, click number, and then in the second row's value box, I'll type in 100,000. So now with the rule set up the way it is, any cell that contains a value greater than 275,000 will get a green icon, any cell with a value below 275,000, but greater than or equal to 100,000 will get yellow, and everything else will get red. I can apply the rule by clicking OK. That gets me out of the editing dialog box. Click OK again. And when I do, Excel applies the rule to the pivot table. Now I have two cells, those over 275,000, that get a green icon. Anything between 275 and 100 gets yellow, and anything below 100 gets red. Icon sets are a terrific conditional format for summarizing data. You can use them for pivot tables, but you'll also find that they're extremely useful for dashboarding and scorecarding worksheets, even outside of pivot tables. I encourage you to learn as much as you can about them and to work with them whenever possible.